This tutorial is brought to you by webnewbie.com. Uh, today I'm going to uh, help you to understand layers. Layers, I think personally, are the best way for a newbie, a beginner, to build a web page. Uh, tables, I think, are the easiest way, but I think layers is the best way for a beginner. And, and to do so, when you're in your very first HTML page here, you want to go up to your layout section here and click on draw AP div. AP div is the new name in CS3. They used to be called layers. Now they're called AP divs. They're the exact same thing. People, most people still call them layers. Uh, and then now you can actually just click anywhere on the screen and draw out you know, your first layer. Uh, the very first thing you want to do after creating your first layer is name your layer. And I'm going to name this layer footer. I have an image ready to go inside of this footer. And so what you want to do with this footer is you can uh, grab one of your images on your side um, bar here and drag and drop it into um, your layer here. And then you can adjust uh, your Z index where you want your footer to be. Um, Z index is, uh, let me create another layer here and I'll show you what Z index is. Uh, this one I'm going to put my logo into here. So I'm going to drag and drop my logo. What a Z index is, is it's like a stack. Uh, this is a Z index of two, so it's higher than this Z index of one, which means that when I put this on top of that one, it shows. Now if I were to change that around, Let's say your Z index of one and your Z index of two. Now this one's on top of that one. So it's basically one, two, three, four, and so on. You know, you're stacking your layers up is what it's doing. Um, now, after you create your layers, I've got my footer layer and I've got my logo layer. I can change, you know, the settings over here. Um, if you watch my properties panel uh, tutorial, you'll be able to better understand the properties panel down here. Uh, but for now, I'm going to click on footer up here. All my layers that I create down on this page here are going to end up under CSS, CSS styles all, and then under the style here. Each layer that I create is going to be there. And then all the properties for that layer can be found right below that. Uh, the height for this so far that I've got down there is 124. Um, the same as the height down here. Uh, left is 26. The same as the left down here. Position is absolute. Width is 894. Z index of 2. Now let's say I didn't drag and drop that in there. Let's say I want to add it in there through this properties here. I can click on this add property and I can add a background image and then I can click here to browse background images and I can click on footer and voila it shows up. Now the only thing about that is if you add a background image is it's gonna repeat itself like it does here you see it repeating itself all over the place. Now in order to get rid of that on the background image the repeat you can go to add properties again background repeat you can either choose no repeat to put it all go away. You can choose repeat where it was just that. You can choose repeat X. It'll only repeat on the X axis. Repeat Y. It'll only repeat on the Y axis and so on. So we're going to go no repeat. Uh, another thing that you can do in here is you can add many different things. Uh, you can add a background color instead of putting a background there, you a picture, you can add a background color behind it. You can add uh, the position. Do you want it centered? Do you want it, you know, left, right? Where do you want it at? You can add borders. Uh, you can add um, to the layer. You can add tons of stuff. The list will go down all the way down here. Different margins, your padding, text transformations, visibility. It's all endless. You can learn more about all this stuff if you take an advanced course, but since this is a newbie course, I'm not going to really get into all of that. But you can see what you can add and you can do with this. That's why layers are, are so great. You can do so many different things with them. The other reason why layers are so great is if you've watched my tables um, tutorial, which is, uh, I think is the 
easiest way to create a website for a newbie. So if you're looking for easy, go and watch my tables video. It'll be very uh, beneficial to you before you create your web page. But with tables, they're fixed. You can't move them. They're just stuck in one spot. The great thing about layers, I can take this and I can drag it anywhere I want. If I want web newbie to be right here on my page, that's where it's going to be. If I want my footer to be up where the header is supposed to be, that's where it's going to be. You know, I can move it anywhere. With a table, I can't just grab it and drag it anywhere I want it. It's got to stay fixed in one spot. You know, you can kind of align it centered, or you can align it left. You can align it in certain positions, but it's always going to be fixed in that position. You can't actually move it where you want it. Um, so, now if I go over to my logo here, now I've got all my logo settings down here as well, so each one of these is going to be different. Uh, and that is the basics of layers. Um, if you want to learn more about layers, uh, you can go look at an advanced site, read up on them or whatever, but this is just basically for newbies, so all the newbies are going to this should be enough for them to be able to start working with layers. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, you can go to webnewbie.com and watch some more newbie video tutorials. Uh, learn, you know, the basics on how to build a website. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.